We've now had a full day to digest the Dan Hurley news. That is what has happened here on Sleepers Media. And uh, Cart, I think it's time we do a little more of a big picture just discussion on this. Because yesterday, we were literally in the middle of our show and we stopped to react live to the news that he was returning to UConn. And I think at the time, you and I had both kind of been leaning, thinking he was going to leave. And then don't want to say it ambushed us, but just like emotional reaction of like, wow, we're so jealous of UConn. Damn, they're going to win every title for forever. Now that we've had a full day to calm down a little bit and try and properly comprehend what this means for college basketball, I want to have a more broad discussion on exactly that. What does this mean for college basketball that Dan Hurley has opted to turn down the Los Angeles Lakers to stay for Connecticut? Well, I, I think it brings continuity to college basketball. I'll say that in a in a time where there's a lot of shifting of coaches and players, especially with the transfer portal and NIL, how it works. I think it brings a level of continuity um, to the college basketball game. And also, yes, I see the angle that, you know, it's definitely on the surface good for college basketball to keep their best coaches at the college basketball level. Right. So like, yes, that's a win. Yes, that's great. And all that. Um, the, the thing that doesn't sit right with me or I push back on is that this like saves college basketball, like the college basketball world was hinging on if Dan Hurley comes back or not. And don't get me wrong, Dan Hurley, like we stated a lot of times on this, he's 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 right now is the best coach in college basketball. So it's great that we kept him. With that said, you know, I think college basketball would have went on without Dan Hurley. <laughs> like I think it would have found its footing and been okay. Um, so yes, it's great for college basketball to keep one of their best coaches. Like that's always a good thing. Um but I also like would like to say that college basketball would have went on, I think, just fine without Dan Hurley, um, in my opinion. I don't know if it would. <laughs> you think it would? You think we would have just stopped? It would have no, been over. I, it wouldn't have been over. But I, I think this is massive. I really do. And I get like, I don't know. You don't want to make like too big of a sweeping reaction to it. But I think like this is a huge moment for college sports. It's a huge victory for college basketball that kind of the face of the entire sport was coveted by the most infamous organization at the professional level with the best player in professional basketball in, you know, the second best player ever, if not the best player ever. And it was like, no, like I, I would rather chase a legacy here. I would rather stay where I'm loved. I would rather, I, honestly, I think like for Hurley, I'm happy for Hurley from like a selfish perspective because I'm hopeful that like he'll get to enjoy this a little more now. Like not that he hasn't enjoyed it in the first place, but to me, it's like if he had really left this in the middle of like what is the Dan Hurley era, he kind of would have had to like not forget about it all, but just completely turn his attention and focus to like the competitive juices of like, I need to get this Lakers window done while we still have LeBron. And instead, like there's a part of me that I hope gets to like bask in what he's built at UConn a little bit. Cause this is the Dan Hurley era. And I hope he gets to enjoy that. You know? Yeah. I, I, I get that. I understand that. Um, also I'm trying to think of a good example for what this is, you know, like that win that you get, that's more of like an agenda win. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like it's it's a win that you take a little bit further than a, it, it is an actual win, because in my opinion, the Lakers made this win a little bit easier than it actually should have been because they offered less than Kentucky did. Like, what did they expect? Did they expect to actually get them? Ah, maybe. Yeah, I, don't I mean, know. I mean, I mean, they, they, they came cheap, which is ridiculous. If you want your guy, pay the money you want to get your guy. Like I said, it's great. It's amazing. Um, honestly, I'm a, I'm not a smoke ducker. So like, I, I want Hurley to come back and I want like other teams to be like, all right, let's go get it. Like, if you want to be the best, you want to be a national champion, go beat the best coach and beat the best team, the back-to-back -back champions, at least the champion this year, if it isn't UConn, which it very well might be, by the way, we might be talking about back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back for them. That's very much in play and in the cards. 
if you want to win a national championship, you got to overcome them. So you got to earn it. So that's, I don't think any college basketball team this year will sell themselves short if they reach the mountaintop before Hurley does. Yeah. I like selfishly that we get to see this year's UConn team with Dan Hurley because I think I've been kind of blunt about this. I think their roster as currently constructed is a step behind Alabama and Kansas, but you put UConn in the same tier with Alabama and Kansas because of Dan Hurley single-handedly. And I think having those three at the top, two of them because of the players they have, one of them because of the coach they have, it's going to be like, not, not like we need to learn anything else about Dan Hurley or have something proven to us, but like it, it always would have sat in my head of like, what would this team have looked like with Hurley if he left this team? And now we get to see it. Like, if he actually wins a third with this roster, to me, that's like the biggest thing that has happened in college basketball ever since I've been alive, if he can make this happen and he gets a chance to do it. And I do think that was a big part of the decision. Um, we put out our graphic of like the top 10 programs for the next 10 years yesterday. And I had UConn eighth, you had them ninth. And we said in the segment, you, you didn't read it on the graphic, but we said in the video segment that went along with it, that uh, we both would have had UConn one if we knew Dan Hurley was back, we were kind of expecting him to leave. So uh, I know we got some flack from Rob Doster. First time heard from Rob in a while yesterday. That was nice. Uh, any thoughts? Any Like, do we need to address the fact that UConn is actually the number one program for the next 10 years now? Uh, no, they are. They are one. They are one with with a tiny, a tiny asterisk there, a very tiny asterisk there. Are we sure this dance isn't going to happen every offseason now? Because there's going to be there's going to be other NBA jobs that are opening, and clearly he has interest in the NBA. Is it just the Knicks though, or is it like any NBA job again? I think it's any any NBA job if they come correct with money. Also, you know, you you talked about it. Caravan's probably a big reason why he comes back. Caravan's gone. You know, maybe he's like, okay, like my guy, my. Obviously, all the guys are his guys, but like Caravan's like the, from the core of that UConn team that kind of started that thing, right? Like yeah. maybe it's just maybe it's just time to move on. And I all I'm saying is that I don't think this is the last NBA flirtation dance that's going to happen with Dan Hurley. I just hope it doesn't happen every off season. Yeah, for UConn's sake, it's going to happen every off season though. Like it, he's going to be courted by NBA teams every off season. Not gonna stop. So like, I I I mean, we could say maybe he won't do the dance, but let's be honest. Dan Hurley's gonna do the dance. Like he, Dan Hurley likes the dance. Dan Hurley loves the dance. He loves to tango cart. And uh, yeah, I think I think it's probably gonna keep happening. The question is just like, yeah, again, I it might happen next off season because I think going for three was such a big part of this for him, and he gets the opportunity to go for three. And whether it goes well or doesn't go well, I think he'll have closure on the fact that he went for it and maybe can start a new chapter after that at some point. Um, honestly, the more we talk through this, if he keeps winning titles, I think the likelihood he stays at UConn is higher. Because <laughs> if he I'm gets sure. three, he wants to go for four, right? Uh, that's 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 facts. He's a, like like we always say, like we will say every Dan Hurley episode, America's beautiful psycho, whatever it is whatever term you want to use he's he's the great he's the greatest psycho of all time top five cycles graphic coming soon i might want to do a segment on this this week but like if we were doing just top 100 important people in college basketball for next season like who will define the next college basketball season i think we would have said zach Eady was one last year who's one is it dan hurley right now i feel like it has to be uh, cooper flag I think it's Dan Hurley. 1A, 1B. And don't leave Bill Self out, too. 1A, 1B, 1C. The NBA draft is coming up, and I've got something awesome for you. We are partnering with the people at NBA 2K Lab. NBA 2K is the best video game on earth. 
The people at 2K Lab are making some awesome stuff to make that game even more fun. And they just launched their 2024 NBA Draft Simulator, where you can find the official Sleepers Media Big Board. We ranked our top 75 players in this draft class. Me, Carter, Brian Ralph, Riley Davis. We did it together. And it is featured on the 2K Lab NBA Draft Simulator. You can take control of any team in the draft. Play GM with just one click and see our entire rankings before these videos even come out. Check out the link in the description of this video to try out the draft sim for yourself. And you can find more mini games at nba2klab.com slash nba-mini-games.